Hi, I'm Ashley Deem, Associate Publisher of Fantini's Gaming Report, and we are here with House Advantage VP of Sales, uh, Jeff Baldy. Thank you for joining us, Jeff. Thanks for having me. This is part of our corporate chat series, and Jeff is here to tell us a little bit about uh, House Advantage, and if you could just maybe go over what's been happening over the last 12 months and kind of give us an update on what you do and where the company's headed. Sure. Thank you, Ashley. Um, you know, first and foremost, House Advantage is a loyalty strategy company. Uh, and, and in recent years, and especially the last year, you know, we've focused a lot on expanding our uh, primary product sets. The Halo loyalty platform has grown by about double from a feature and functionality perspective. Uh, we've also expanded by way of acquisition with the eTouch menu platform that we purchased actually one year ago, this G2E is the, is the anniversary of that. So we've really focused a lot on what payments mean to the industry and how much more data is available um, you know, to our end users, mostly casinos, but other, but other retailers as well. What should the industry know about House Advantage? Well, I, I think as a company born out of thought leadership and strategy, um, one of the things that we're constantly working on with our partners and clients is the importance of um, the entertainment dollar that especially at this trade show everybody is, is fighting for. And when we think about competition, we don't think about the casinos or uh, the casinos across the street from our clients, rather it's every entertainment dollar. That, that dollar is being fought for at every, uh, every hour of every day, whether you're making a decision to take your family to a movie or out to dinner. Um, we feel that the data points connected around loyalty in general and extending loyalty currency outside of the brick and mortar casino is really, um, is really the next frontier in, that, in loyalty and, uh, and driving um, a committed relationship between our customers and their clients. Now you have operations um, outside of the one program. Um, and do you also have operations outside of gaming? And, and if so, what is the, um, what percentage of your business is gaming? It's, it's probably depends on how, how that question is specified, right? I'd say that the quantity of our, the number of customers that we have um, is more so weighted on the uh, casino side of the business. From a product perspective, you know, we've, we've owned the eTouch menu platform for, for a year, and that customer base is growing almost daily at this point. Um, one of the things that eTouch menu has allowed us to do is really take the hospitality and loyalty features and functions of, of that and push it into non-gaming areas. So where we have uh, non-gaming and gaming customers that are introducing loyalty because that platform is integrated across all major point of sale systems, all major loyalty programs um, that allows us to more easily get into the non-gaming space, which as you know is um, a much larger part of, of commerce in general. So three to five years from now, what can we expect from House Advantage? Where is the trajectory of growth headed? I think over the, the, you know, the near to long term horizon, um, you'll see us still kind of be um, founded and, and based in the, the same principles that got us to where we are now. And that is to uh, not only sell products, but to deliver solutions that may or may not include our products. Uh, you know, we focus mostly on being malleable and flexible and uh, integration with best of breed systems. So we're, we're really, uh, it's very important to us not to recommend uh, replacement or, or um, uh, consolidation of solutions. We're, we're really big on continuing to integrate between what our customers feel are best of breed solutions. Um, I think you'll see a lot more from us in the payment space. And by payment, I mean native mobile apps that are integrated into multi-venue situations like, like a major resort on the Strip or even a local casino uh, you know, throughout the Midwest or, or riverboat properties. Uh, our level of integration and um, customer experience that we can help manage from convenience and self-service and um, relevant real-time interaction with a brand 
I think that's that's really where you'll see us focused in the future. Thank you again for joining us, Jeff. Thanks for your time.